Liu Yan, thank you so much for joining us today. We would like to have you share a couple of questions with us on our online platform itself. So you mentioned a lot on failure, embracing failure. So what is one advice that you will give to young audience, um, perhaps kids and also young adults? Um, I would say um, we are made to fail. Um, uh, we have the inner strength and wisdom and pa compassion to to really um, uh, to learn the, um, through that kind of experience and to increase uh, uh, self growth and ultimately um, it's it's like you are going to a gym so you do heavy lifting you run on the treadmill so you're creating all this difficulty a challenge for yourself to be, be able, uh, able to become uh, stronger healthier. And it's the same thing with uh, your uh, 6C. We, our 6C is calm, compassion, curiosity, courage, commitment, and collaboration. So you need to have all these challenges come all your way to be able to uh, um, uh, train that kind of mental muscle uh, to become better uh, collaborator, uh, to become uh, more compassionate, to become more curious. And uh, the answer is within yourself. Is there one particular behavior or habit that you usually do on a daily routine to help you embrace this kind of uh, inner self-beliefs? Yeah, um, uh, as I said earlier, um, to understand your own uh, hidden belief, uh, mental model, is very important. So, uh, because we all have our own bias and preference and assumptions, and, and try to understand what is the cause, um, what is, what is the, that one experience probably in your childhood or your cultural uh, backgrounds, and, and that would be the kind of condition for you to come up with such a uh, fundamental belief or hidden belief. And those are actually the, the drivers um, for you to act or speak in a certain way. So try to detach from it. Because everything what we grow up with is not necessarily the right thing for us to continue further. So to understand our past will help us to understand how we can become better in the future. So like the story I told you about the man riding a horse without knowing where the horse is going. Um, and the horse is exactly your, your assumption, your emotion, your thoughts. They're not you. You're the rider. And actually, it's not about rider control a horse or horse control rider. It's about the rider and horse being synchronized in the, in the process. So in the beginning, you probably find it quite struggling, try to control your thoughts. You just say, oh, I shouldn't have this thought. I shouldn't have that emotion. It's not about that. It's just to recognize every day, there is certain thoughts of emotion going through your mind and like a piece of cloud. And, and, and basically, postpone the judgment and just observe it and just tell them, hey, old pa, I see you again. <laughs> yeah, stay in the corner, please. And you know, I know you're trying to protect me because uh, you have been always with me for many, many years. But um, um, we can still be friends, um, but you're, you're not trying to control me. Yeah, so that's the kind of inner dialogue you can have with your older self. Yeah, and then embrace your wiser self. As I said to my son, uh, there is old Daniel, there is a Daniel, and there is a wiser Daniel. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us, and that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.